So hello everyone, so I'm just heading towards my library. As you know, my exams are just starting to seven o'clock in the morning. I'm in Glasgow, UK, but that's not the point of this video. The topic is very serious. And if you are someone who is from middle class family and this video is especially for those guys and who want to study abroad and you know, sometimes they take a loan for 20 lakh. So recently I was just having a call with my one of the friend, he's in Canada. He has done his bachelor's. He got some experience in India and now he wanted to go in Canada to do some master's degree just for some further education and thereafter he just wanted to work in the chemistry field thereafter so i was just talking to him that uh, how's uh, stuff going on in canada like and he brought up a very important topic he said that he has actually dropped out of his degree program which he went for he say a lot of students who go to canada or study abroad they can drop drop out from their degree program because it's more expensive and then they go ahead and they start doing diploma degree because it's just for it's like cheap in cost and once they do diploma they also start doing some kind of a job to earn money and that all stuff and this guy same like i was very surprised that uh, he was going for his degree however he dropped out and he started doing diploma and then he said that in like next four or five years he'll get a pr and then he'll just think about if he want to study or not so that was his attitude then I thought like, okay, I will bring up this topic on my YouTube channel and just discuss few points. Now, here the very first analogy which I want to give you is for water. Now, there are two types of water. The first water is a flowing water and the another one is a stagnant water. Now, what is the difference between both of them? So, the difference here is, if it's a flowing water, now this guy went for his master's degree. He would have done his master's degree, then he would have gone further he would have worked for some good company in a in an international corporate or maybe he had done some phd degree maybe he could have been working for some really novel disease for example hiv is uncurable at the moment there are few drugs but maybe he could have found out some drugs and vaccine which could cure hiv because he had very sharp brain when uh, you know he was uh, my senior in my school and he had a good brain uh, you know for studying so he could have done all that good things he would have come with something really noble in the world which would have a far bigger impact now this is like a flowing water so he would have worked in a company maybe he done a phd then finally maybe he would have got a cure of a really really deadly disease or a serious condition whereas now he started doing part-time job he said he was doing carpentry job and then in the future, he will just continue and do the carpenter job essentially for the next five years. And you never know what the mindset is there after maybe he again continue to do uh, like the carpenter job itself. So that's a stagnant water. And you know, if the water is stagnant at a specific place, it starts thinking. Because there is like, now in this carpenter thing, this like, I mean, you can, there's a growth. Maybe he start his business and so on. However, he had a really good mindset of studying and he could have really done wonders for the world and the society itself. So, so I really felt bad that when he sent me that he had switched to diploma and now he's satisfied with his carpentry job because it, it makes him money. If you're from middle class family, have big dreams. Like, like we sometimes constrained ourselves due to the money thing. Now, for example, in this case, for this guy, I mean, he could have gone ahead, maybe he, he could have dreamed dream big. Like, don't worry about people who would make your fun or something. Just believe in yourself. Maybe he would have competed for a Nobel Prize. His, his discovery, his research would have such a big impact that he has found something really new. And if he would have dreamt that big, then maybe he would have gone ahead, maybe he would have won Nobel Prize and it would have been a pride for the India itself, essentially, because, you know, he's from the Indian origin. So again, like dream big for the middle class people. This is my second point. And third point, which I really thought was that be a warrior. Now, I have been staying in the UK for last four or five years since I was doing my undergraduate degree. I've also worked at PNG and in my past still here so i'm in my final year right now and i've got like distinction in all my degree programs i've i've got a work experience and stuff and i know that there are a lot of struggles when you're studying abroad uh, again there could be financial situation that you're very constrained but again in my in my case i was like 
I, I, I actually did a part time job. I paid my fees myself. And on the side, I also like did my studies. I got distinction in every single year. So my main priority here was my studies because, you know, I, for example, in my case, I'm doing chemistry with drug discovery. Again, I've got a motivation and a passion to do research in my case. Basically, my main priority here is studies. And the second thing, I know my financial situation. I, I know that I need to pay my fees and stuff. And on the side, I did my part-time job. However, I didn't have a mindset that my part-time job will be my main job. You know, and, 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 that, and that's the situation that Kai was having. Because he said that even like his friend circle, some of them start driving drugs and, you know, like some of them start working in a restaurant and they continue doing that for their lifetime. So, so the point here is there will be a lot of struggles when you're going abroad. However, you have to fight with their struggles rather than just ignore or just like try to take uh, other path essentially. So this is really important for the middle class student who is planning to study abroad. And the other thing, I was watching one of the video on YouTube and that guy, and that guy had an ideology of C equal to C. Now, what does this mean? So essentially, I will try to explain on my left hand side, you can see a video going on. Essentially, think about there are two lines on that paper. The below line is for cradle when, when, when the child has taken a birth and the top line is cremation. That when that when that baby has grown up and now we have to cremate the person like he has lived his life and during that specific path between that between that two lives that's your life in that life maybe you're struggling you're crying you are having success you're having you're having failures you're going through a lot of different emotions during that path however just remember that's only one life which you have got you can carry out your life as being a carpenter being a truck driver no like 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 these are not like small jobs these are all good however if you've got a good passion and zeal to for, for a particular subject you've got an interest for that particular subject and you know that you can have a far greater impact by pursuing your subject and the passion if you do for further studies in a study abroad country like uk us america whichever country you're going to then yes go ahead and pursue your passion your interest which which you are really motivated for the secondly if, if if there's someone who has got like genuine genuine interest in let's say wood and stuff like he wants to build a really creative house with the wood and he want to go for entrepreneurship for business go ahead and and, and do that particular path however don't sideline your main priority and the main interest for example in this case he had the main interest of pharmaceuticals main interest of chemistry however he went to the carpentry because he saw a ease in that particular job and it and it gave him some short-term money and he left his long-term dreams and that's the ideology of a cradle to cremation make sure that you have got a good story for your life you are having a bigger impact maybe like by studying you could like help you can motivate some of the underprivileged childs in india uh, who, who, who can see you and see that oh well this guy is like me he's like from middle class he was poor however he went abroad he he pursued his passion and now see he has got a very bigger impact and 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 if you motivate that one one guy in the village of india that would be your very big achievement rather than just making hundreds and thousands of dollars because like money is that how much ever you earn it's never going to be enough like i've been in the uk uh, you know, I've bought like a lot of gadgets and stuff, but I, I never get satisfaction. The only time when I get satisfaction is when I help other person. For example, if I help other guy in preparing for the examination, if I see someone who is homeless, I just give him some food on the street. That's the kind of happiness and the, and the satisfaction which I get by helping other people. So this was all the point of this video that when you go for study abroad, be clear what is your priority. Don't just like for the short term gains, don't just change your path of life because if you follow your passion that will take you far ahead in your life and with this i will just end this video subscribe for more such videos cheers bye bye